What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Planet Zoo episode for you guys today and guys after the huge failing of last episode where we got the Timberwolves and uh, bought them for ridiculous amounts of conservation credits and then couldn't breed them and they just wouldn't cooperate with us, we decided to start a brand new franchise zoo. Now, we've come a long way since there. We didn't record any of it because we were just kind of getting a feel for it and getting used to the game and whatnot. But here we are, guys, and we've got this big boy right here, a Johnny B, the Western Lowland Gorilla. Here he is playing with his kid. He just literally knocked it aside. He's like, what you doing, fool? So we've got these big boys. We've got quite a few animals now. I think we've got seven different species. You can see here we've got the gorillas in this enclosure. We've spent a lot of time making a lot of these enclosures. The gorilla enclosure is probably one of my favorites. We spent a lot of time on this one. Placing vines and the moss and stuff like that and the plants and everything. I really like how this one turned out and everything like that. You can see there, that's really nice. All the building materials and stuff like that and the climbing stuff. So I've got that going for the gorillas over here. It's really nice. Really enjoy this one. One of my favorites. Probably could do it. I was thinking of doing a uh, waterfall over, in this enclo uh, over on this side where we're going to put a waterfall in. Haven't gotten around to doing it. There are a couple of things we need to fix up around the zoo in terms of enclosures and stuff like that. But let's bring you guys over to the entrance. The entrance is a little bit crowded. We do have to work on this. I'm kind of waiting for our warthogs to just kind of stop breeding and uh, we're thinking of then fixing it up. But we've got over here some warthogs. I really like their enclosure. We had warthogs in the last one. They're really easy, really good to start off with. They breed a lot which is great for just releasing them into the wild and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I like their enclosure a lot. It was one of our first ones. We do have to change it around a little bit and whatnot, but they've got this big cave in here that they all can sit in and rest and stuff. And you can see there's a lot of babies running around in them. So I've got the warthogs there. We've got some stuff buildings right here, which I probably shouldn't have put there, but I didn't really have anywhere else I wanted to put them. Because uh, now literally just everyone complains about the staff buildings being where they are and being able to see them, even though I made them look nice and pretty. And then over here, we've got a crap ton of tortoises. Like, I mean a literal crap ton. Let's just jump into the animals bar real quick here. 22 of them. These three right here have just been breeding nonstop. Mind you, these guys are like, what, 80? 112 years old. So these guys have just been going at it. There are 100. I don't know what stage they re reach um, sexual sterility. Death. Okay, so they keep going till they die. Uh, yeah, and you can see here, they've got quite a few more years in them, like another at least hundred. So yeah, we've got these, and these guys are just producing turtles galore. We've got a ton of baby turtles in here, and pretty much what we're doing is we're just selling them off as they uh, reach maturity. We do have a couple of them set aside for later lines, so we've got that ready to go as well. And then over here, we have the hyenas. Now, I love hyenas, they're probably one of my favorite animals, and look at this. Just jump through the grass. So we've got these guys in here. She's about to die, however, from old age. She has produced... Oh, no, she's still got quite a few years in her. I was thinking of the dogs. Uh, yeah, you can see here she's produced quite a few offspring. And we're doing the same sort of thing here with the turtles. Just producing the offspring, keeping a couple of the good ones aside with really good genetics. Um, and saving those for future lines. So over here we've got the hyenas. I do enjoy their enclosure. I could have fixed up this a little bit. I haven't made it as pretty as I wanted to with a couple of rocks in the terrain and stuff like that, but I'm still happy with how it turned out. We've got this little uh, promenade up here, this little plaza that they can look over. Not many people use it, however, though. They kind of just sit on the bridge, which is really annoying because there's none of the donation box on the bridge, so we can't make money, which is a shame. And then over here, sticking with the African theme, we've got the African wild dogs. These guys, one of my favorite animals as well. Once again, they're really cute and I just love them. Like, look how cute this guy is. He's adorable. So we've got these guys in here, but a lot of them are very old, so they are about to die off, because you can have these guys in large herds, large groups, sorry, large packs. That's the correct terminology. So you can have these guys in large packs, and uh, yeah, a lot of them, as you can see, are reaching the end of their life cycle. And then over here, we've got a food court. Um, quite a few people use this. We've got some more food shops over here, but this is sort of the main bulk of people for some reason. And then next to the gorillas over here, we have the aardvarks. Now, these guys are heckin' adorable as well. They're just, they're just really cute. I love these guys. Um, and we've got these guys over here. These guys aren't too crazy. Like, they produce offspring every while. That's the male. That would help if we find the female. Here's a female. Uh, you can see here, she's, she's only produced two offspring, but she's in the elderly stage. So she is going. She might not be alive for too much longer. But these guys are nice and easy. I actually really like their enclosure. 
We did it a little bit different to the other enclosures in the zoo, making this one a little bit of a um, open sort of fence thing and just dug it down so that they could actually wander around and people could just look straight in. We obviously had to put like a little hill for the keepers and the animals to move around in. So I've got this little fence here and we fenced it off with some rocks and the wooden fence because the aardvarks could actually climb up here and uh, escape with the null barrier. So we've got those guys and then over here, the piece de resistance, we've got the cheaters. We're going to pause it right here because it's overcrowded. Now, these guys are purely just to make conservation credits. You can see here we've got 23,000... 439 you need conservation credits to buy the more expensive to buy the more rarer animals so the cheetahs are one of the best sources to do this so we've got these guys purely for the breeding purposes so you can see here we've got a couple of baby cheetahs now in each of these we've got different lines so we've got lines in there and then we've got a different line in here and lots of babies in here so three more babies in there i'm gonna call the keeper so we can there we go. And then over here, we've also got another group of cheetahs. So you can see there, why is it fighting due to overcrowdedness? Or is it just because they're not being fed? I don't know why the keepers don't refill their food. It's really annoying sometimes. I'm going to call the keeper as well. And here we go. So these two have just matured. We're going to take a look at them, see if they've got any good genes. But you guys will see us release them into the wild. I mean, they're not that great. Let's release them. So easy, 870 conservation credits, which is great. We need those to buy more animals. And that should fix them. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So that's pretty much the zoo. Now, these ones are really basic enclosures. Like I said, I made these just to produce conservation credits, which a little immoral of me, but, you know, they're happy. They've got good welfare. They're, they're happy, you know. They've got hard shelter and stuff like that. Their terrain is all right. Uh, their nutrition is probably a little bit lacking. We can bump that up a little bit. Uh, yeah, that's why the grade one food quality. We'll go grade three, four and make them, make them happy. But, yeah, you can see their welfare is... 95%. So they are happy here. It's just not the nicest looking enclosure. So yeah, we've got those. But this is the one we spent a lot of time on doing and stuff like that. I do have to change it a little bit around. I want to kind of make some hills and bumps and stuff like that. We've got a nice rock shelter that they can go in and they can climb up on and look over. They actually don't try to escape, which I find really funny and sort of weird. But we've also got this one-way glass one as well so people can look in while... Is that damaged? Yeah, it is. While um, they rest and stuff like that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much our zoo at the moment. So, I mean, it's it's not bad. We're making money. The guests are semi-happy. You can see 77%. They just want a lot more food and water, like food and drink. I've got this huge food court here, but they don't seem to use it as much as everywhere else. I literally built this huge food court so they could just shut up and come down here and eat and drink. But like even here, you can see there are shops that aren't having people come into them. So I might have to put a couple more of them around, but it's just a little bit annoying. So guys, what we're doing today is we are going to be building a bear habitat. So we've got this sort of area and it's kind of African themed, this sort of section excluding the gorillas. So what we're going to do is we're going to have, start trying to make it themed and we're going to try and make a bear closure off here. And we're going to have like a sort of North American area with like timber wolves and stuff like that. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go with the lodge wood path, and we're going to bump this up to seven. There we go, and we're going to see, can I get that to snap off? Mm, it's going to be a bit funky. What if I do it from here? Let's do it from there, there we go. Oh no, that's not what we want. So yeah, we're going to have an, a North American sort of section of the zoo. We're going to expand this out a little bit. There we go, and we've got to be careful because the habitat, the staff buildings would make people very unhappy in the zoo apparently because nobody is allowed to, no, no staff are allowed to work in the zoo with people seeing them. Alright, that's fine there, sweet, okay, so we can get that, alright, and I apologise it is a bit dark, so I kind of wanted to do like a big sort of signage here as well welcome to like north america kind of thing so maybe we should have bumped the path up a little bit more can i make it 10 no i can't let's let's bump this up let's get rid of that and we'll make it size 10 so it's a little bit easier to walk down uh we'll keep that one there for reference okay and now we should be able to build off here. Here we go. Yeah, 10 meters is good, I think. So 
that way they can walk down without getting too hassled. Okay, that's done. Awesome. Now we can get that to come out here. Take that down to seven meters. There we go. And we'll get that to come out through here. There it is. And this is probably just going to be for the staff, to be honest. Because uh, we are probably going to set some more buildings up over here. Because we've got the sort of foundation for it. Alright. So, I think what we'll do is... If we go terrain and we go stamp tool. And we go fill. Can we kind of just go... Like that. And then... Make like a little bit of a ridge thing. Is that a thing we can do? Make like a little bit of a mound sort of separation thing. Yeah, that kind of works. And then that way we can do like a sign up here saying like North America or something. Yeah, I think that I think that looks alright. I mean, it's obviously just a huge block of earth, but I mean, <laughs> we'll fix that up. Alright, so we're going to build the bears off this, I think. I think we'll build it off here. So what we'll do is we'll build a path here. And what we'll do is we'll go up. And back down. There we go. And then we should be able to just build a little plaza thing off it. So if we go align to grid and we go here. And we go like that. And we'll go one more out. There we go, that'll do. Alright, so that's for the bears, like a viewing platform so people can kind of look in. And then what we'll do over here for them is we'll do like an underground, possibly an underground sort of viewing area. I don't know how well that would work. Um, but we'll give it a shot. We'll try and see how it works. So, let's find the stairs like that. There should be enough space for people. We're going to fancy it up a little bit, make it pretty. What's going on? Animal is hungry. See, I don't know why the, the keepers don't come in and freaking fill their food up. They fill the enrichment items, but that's it. And it's really frustrating. Because there's this food thing here for a reason. Like, look, uses last month for zero. So, they're not, they're not, like, they don't use it at all to eat. Alright, now our um, African wild dogs are starting to die of old age as well now. So, 15 years old. Poor little dude. Okay, let's come back over to our bear habitat. Alright, so what I might try doing is if we go barriers. Let's take a look at them first. We've got the we've got the bears. We just need to take a look at them. Uh, grizzly bear, grizzly bear, grizzly bear. Grizzly? Here we go. Grizzly bear. Alright, so. What are we looking for? So we need this one, natural habitat. So 750 a year, land requirement, zero climbing, uh, temperature requirement, ten, negative 10 to 28. So we're gonna need some pretty, sh uh, we're gonna need some coolers and grade floor climb proof. Grade four climb proof. Okay, so we need a grade four fence. What, I think we will just use the brick one. Grade four. I don't like the mesh. Gabion, what does that look like? Uh, I don't know. I kind of like the brick, to be honest. Grade 6, while powered. Definitely not going to go for an electric fence or a chain one. Steel mesh. Yeah, no, I'm not a fan of the steel mesh. I think we'll just use the, the, the red brick, to be honest. Opaque, not climbable. Climbable, watertight. Let's go for the red brick. I'm going to go for the red brick. Um, How big of a space do we want to give them? What we'll do is we'll go paths and we're going to make another little pathway sort of like a, a viewing area so that we can divert some of the traffic. Okay. So it's not perfectly straight, but it'll do. Alright, so now what we'll do is we'll go with the barriers and uh, yeah, I think I like the... We could go concrete. What does concrete look like? Hmm, concrete's not bad. We could, we'll go red brick. I like the red brick. So what we'll do is we'll go like this. Let's get rid of that. We'll just start again. We'll go like this. And then that can sort of be like a viewing area. And then we'll have it curving around. And then probably off this. Why is it snapping for? Probably off this we can. What should we be doing? Why is it doing that for? And 
then off this what we'll do is we can do like a little underground den for him to take a look let's let's go like this so we'll put the hard shelter in this corner over here in this corner here and then people can kind of kind of come in and take a look at them all right so we want to go out and around maybe we won't use fences i have an idea i don't know if this will work we go terrain and we go with the stamp tool. I'm going to change this width down because I'm pretty sure they don't climb. So what we'll do is I'm going to raise this up a little bit. We're going to do the same sort of style with the aardvarks. So we're going to go like that. How does that look? How deep is that? That should be deep enough to stop them from getting out. Alright, so we're going to make a little sort of ravine. I guess you could say through it. And then I think this way we can actually have people go down and view them underground properly. But still have them viewing them like this kind of thing. So I think that'll be good. Let's let's try and do this and see how we go. We'll bring you guys back when hopefully we've got the terrain sort of mapped out. Alrighty guys, so we've got the enclosure, I mean the basics of the enclosure set up. You can see here we've got a little river down the middle of it. I don't know if they'll be able to swim through it. I'm thinking they should be able to. We're going to have to wait till they actually get in here, which we should probably put them in here. So we've got some staff buildings over here that we're going to be putting down. Uh, we've just got to drop them down first. So let's get these down and then we can actually go from here and we'll be able to Animal Trade Center with one of these. We'll be making these buildings a little bit prettier down the line. For now, though, we're just going to go with their basic buildings. I mean, like, we've got all these fancy ones. I kind of like the New World for the African stuff, to be honest. I think the New World would be pretty damn cool. I think... Do we go with the normal Keeper Hut? Yeah, probably just the one will do. I've got to check if these guys are powered as well. That's another thing we've got to figure out. All right, but... Quarantine, workshop we don't need. Veterinary surgery, we will need a staff room. So we'll go with the small one. Research center we don't need. Quarantine small. I'm going to go with the quarantine. S yeah, we'll go with the quarantine. And I think that's everything we'll need. Pretty sure that's all we'll need. Now, if we come into here, I don't know if these are powered. Negative impact on guests. They shouldn't have any. And we're also going to need a generator. So let's go. Where is the facilities? And we'll grab a Jenny. And I think we'll also need a water treatment. I uh, can put this here if we get as long as it's touching the water. It's fine. All right, so let's get that added in there There we go chuck that down. Uh, how do I see negative impact? Oh, maybe I should move the water generator And then the transformer no, it should be fine if I cut down I should just be able to cut down the plaza anyway, and then we can do it from there All right and chuck that down Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go paths and we'll turn that off. That's annoying me. And we'll go path and we'll just cut that like that. Yeah, I think that's okay. Maybe extend it over by one, possibly. I think it should be fine like that, to be honest. Alright, so it is currently raining. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little cave for the bears now as well. Let's bump that up a little bit to five. There we go. Okay. So we're going to make like a little cave sort of thing. So if we... I think maybe we'll do it over here. Because the keeper gate is over there. So let's just pull some of this mountain up. Oh yeah, give me all that mountain. Alright, if we pull this up a little bit more. I think that is high enough. And if we go flatten to surface outwards. If we go like that. Yeah, that kind of works. Okay, so you can see that we've got the beginnings of a cave. It's kind of gone a little bit wonky. We're going to have to smooth it out and make it a little bit bigger on the back just to kind of give it that sort of cavey feel. Okay, that's a little bit too much of a cavey feel. Let's smooth it out. All right, and what we need to do is we need to come in here and we have to push that a little bit up. Like that. Is that enough space for him, you reckon? I reckon that's enough space. And what we'll do is we should be able to extend this out a little bit. If we go like this. Pull that out a little bit. I want to break him through. 
And I just want this to sort of go like this. And if we push this down a little bit, pull that little section up and we go smooth. Smooth all this around. Yeah, I think that's enough space. Maybe push it back a little bit more. Just to give them a little bit more room because I don't know how big of a den they kind of need. So we'll push it out a little bit, especially around these edges where the, the walls are really thick. Because the more hard shelter the better, especially if they're going to be producing babies, which I guarantee they will be. Because that's the whole plan. Um, so I'm thinking that, yeah, if we can give them a little bit more space. Sort of like that. I think that looks better. Still don't like how thick these big pillars are. Let's condense that down. Alright, let's smooth it out. And I should push this little wall up a little bit. Not a fan of that. There we go. Smooth it all around. Alright, we've got a little bit of a cave going on. I kind of like that. It's a little bit wonky. i got to probably work on my terrain sculpting skills a little bit. But, I mean, it'll do. It'll do for now. Alright, so we've got the basics in. We're going to make it a little bit prettier. I'll, I'll, I'm definitely not going to leave it like that. But what we need to do first is we need to hire some new staff. Let's come down here. We're going to go for... I just wish you could get the caretakers to kind of go in a path. Alright, keeper. Let's pause it here. And we want a mechanic. And security. And then a vet. Alright. Maybe go two keepers. No, we'll go we'll go with one for now. And what we'll do is we'll make what's the notification? Fighting due to overcrowding. Alright, our cheaters are ready to go as well. Make the new work zone. So we want it to go new work zone. We'll go grizzlies. Grizzly bears. Okay, work zone 14, yeah, whatever. And now we need to add the buildings, so we'll add all that, that, that. And I've got the bears. I kind of want to put... But if I put the staff room over here, it's going to make... The mechanic them go to the staff room. I just want to make it so that the cleaners come over here. I don't know if they go up there and clean, that's the thing. That should be fine. Let's... Where did, did my habitat go? Where did the other one go? Didn't I just make one for the bloody... Grizzlies? No, apparently not. Alright. That's fine. Grizzly bears. Okay, that's done. So, they're all done. And now what we can do is we come into our staff. We're going to make these guys all part of it. So, work zone. Alright, so hopefully the security guard will wander around the whole enclosure. I don't know how the work zones work for the cleaners and the security guards. Because unless you set them to like really far away, they don't go through. Because I've still got trash like sitting around in my zoo. Alright, so that's it for the grizzly bears. Alrighty guys, and we're back. And I think we're pretty much done. There are a couple of things I want to change around on it. Add more plants and stuff like that and a waterfall over here. But I, other than that, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy with how it looks. We've got a bit of snow here and there. We've got a bit of rock here and there. We've got some moss. Got a lot of trees. A lot of stuff that these guys like. I've actually got a change this because I want this to be one way glass to about there yeah make it there because I don't want people have to having to bloody fog it up all right let's go one way glass is that the right way nope that's not the right way that's the right way all right so yeah I'm happy with how this looks we've got to do a little bit of the habitat signs and stuff like that but I'm glad people are using this to look down as well because that's what we built it for so yeah i'm i'm happy with it i'm happy with the enclosure the bears are happy sides from their enrichment which we are currently researching and their food obviously which we are also researching but yeah these guys are pretty happy with that 67 percent welfare obviously that'll go up when we get some enrichment items for them at the moment we've got none but i'm happy with it hopefully these guys breed i'm gonna put some i'm gonna make some more sort of hill structures it's very flat i want to make it a little bit more hilly and we've also got to add before I forget, some bedding, because these poor guys have nothing. I was like, why is nothing coming up? Maybe I actually have some enrichment items for them. It's because I had a thingy in there. It might not have come up. Let's take a look. Oh, I do have them. I've got plenty. Grizzly bear? Yeah. Block of frozen fruit. 
drop a couple of those down and we'll put some tree forages and I want to put one kind of like right here and we'll go one more over here so that people can see them yeah look we got plenty of stuff all right uh, let's go with a fire hose ball and a rubbing pole easy look at that now they should be at 100% oh and he got out of the water from there look at him look at him run go for the block of fruit that's a big guy. Dig into that fruit. Oh, yeah. All right. So, yeah, there we go. Look, 100% all around. Beautiful. Except for their uh, nutrition because they're currently eating frozen fruit. But, yeah, guys, I'm happy with that. So, we're going to wrap up the video here for today. Let me know if you guys want to see more of these. But other than that, guys, thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe down below for more. But other than that, I will catch you in the next one. And I got this soda. Remy boys